Hello again, and welcome to Social 30-1. Hopefully you've already watched the welcome video that was provided to you in your welcome letter. Um, and this is sort of the next step. So I just wanna give you a quick little preview of what this course looks like and how to kind of move through it. First thing I'd like to point out is if you open up this side, if it's not open already, this little purple arrow, um, and then you have your instructor information. So if you need to email us or book a meeting, this is where you would do that. I'll show you how to do that again shortly. Some other quick links here and information, um, the official course outline, textbook information, if you want to do get some additional support from the tutors here at the college, um, the library, bookstore, um, and any other supports you might need. Reminder of course grading and a few other things. So if you're ever looking for some quick links here, those are all here. If you ever want to book a meeting with one of us, you're going to click book meeting and something like this will pop up. So for myself, you can choose 15 minutes or 30 minutes. So I'm gonna click 30. If you don't click this one of these, the rest of it won't pop up. So now it's showing me some dates. Okay, I wanna book on Thursday. I'd like to book with Tracy. David's hours should be up shortly um, at 10 a.m. And then I'm gonna fill out this information. Um, please use your Norquest email. It just makes it a little bit easier all around. Um, and then if you can answer any of these questions to just give us an idea of what it is that we're going to be talking about, that'd be great. Then you're going to click book. Once you click book, you will receive an email and I will receive an email confirmation saying, yes, this is going to happen. And there will also be a meeting link in there that you would click on the time of the meeting when we're actually going to have our discussion. So that's how you book a meeting with your instructor. Another really th good thing I like to point out is here is the grades. Okay, so if you scroll down, you can see what your grades are at the bottom. You could see your um, kind of running grade. So that's where you would go to check some of your grades if you want to see where you're at. Okay, um, obviously you're in the orientation. Uh, so the next thing we really want to make sure you take your time to go through is the course syllabus. Uh, we don't have a teacher in front of you to go through that stuff with you, so please take your time. There's a video on, hey, what is this course about? Um, we really want students to take the time to have a look at the Academic Integrity Pledge that you will be signing um, or clicking that you agree to. It's, we talked about it in the welcome video as well. Just with the use of AI in today's society, we just want to make sure everyone's really clear um, what is and is not allowed at this point. Uh, there's some information about textbooks and exams, um, but as mentioned in the welcome video, some of the exam proctoring processes are going to be changing. And so just keep a lookout for emails and messaging about that in the next few weeks. Um, and yeah, just a few other pieces of uh, information there. So please make sure you take the time to go through uh, the syllabus fully. Uh, if you ever want to go back to the main page, you can just click one of these breadcrumbs here and it'll pop you back. Okay, apparently I'm leveling up. <laughs> okay, then how this course is set up is um, we have most of the units are set up with an, a concept section and an ideal G section. So in the concept section, yeah, we go over the concepts being covered in that unit and then and there's a multiple choice quiz at the end. So if I open this up, yep, here's a lesson about identity and ideology. And then when I'm done all that, taking my own notes, all of those things, there's a reading comprehension quiz. Then in the next unit, there's no skills for that unit. Um, same thing's going to happen again. And then when I get to the skills section, we're going to take all of this information that we learned in the concept section, apply it to a specific type of workshop. So the workshop's going to tell us how to do a piece of writing for social studies, and then you'll actually do that assignment. So the workshop's going to go through how to do it, give you an example, all those things. So if I was to click on this, just for example, you're going to say, okay, here, we're going to learn how to classify a source, evaluate a source, make some connections, um, and then there'll be a review. And then obviously you would go to the assignment next. Okay, so that's how all of these are um, set up. And when you get to the final exam, uh, again, hopefully we're not hopefully, we will have information for you about how to um, set up and register for that for the part A, which is the written, the part B will be unproctored. But Again, more detailed information is going to be coming out about that, um, as well as one of your written assignments will also be done through ProctorU, just so you get some practice before you're doing it in an exam setting. So yeah, that's just a really quick introduction to what the course looks like, how we sort of navigate. If this is something that is like overwhelming for you, 
maybe technology is new to you, please book a meeting with one of us and we can go through it in a one-on-one -on -one setting just to kind of see where it is that you're being confused. So again, we're looking forward to working with you um, and good luck.